Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna tell you how to host a create react app to a subfolder because um, by default create react app only works at the root directory like uh, my public bps address slash and that's it, no sub path so I'm gonna tell you how to circumvent that and successfully host a create react app site under a sub path so um, first of all in the dot env file this file is located in the um, this uh, base directory of the create react app that you made okay so I'll just show you here so this is my this is my path to the create react app in my case it's the front end for a mock e-commerce site this is actually uh, from a udemy course so i didn't write this web page I'm, I'm just hosting it so we have a look this react app has a file dot env this uh, in this file you specify the uh, environment variables variables okay so you go inside um, first of all set the node env to production okay this is important so when you build the project and copy over the static files um, if this is not set to production um, what happens is this um, this next variable public URL will not take effect okay will stay as root okay so um, next you set the public URL to your VPS public IP slash name of the sub path in my case the sub path is slash EC app stands for e-commerce app okay okay so uh, next it says Next it says uh, set the base name to the router um, so let me do that this um, in my case the file is on the source slash and the name of the file is root.js so what you do is simply find the router block and set the base name to equal to slash followed by the name of your sub path in my case as I told you is ECF okay so that's that and then it says um, run npm run build and it says this generates static files inside build directory so what you do is after doing after building the static files you copy everything under the build folder to the uh, directory that your web server will look for okay in my case it's nginx um, so the nginx looks for the files to be hosted at var slash www slash and the folder that comes after that okay um, you have to set this as a root inside your custom nginx configuration which I will go on, go on to later so I'll just show you if I run build again I already did it obviously because I already hosted the website but if I do it again this is what happens So here it says the project was built assuming it is hosted at um, my public VPS address with the port number 8080. This is all um, set inside the Nginx configuration um, slash uh, EC app, which is the name of the sub path that I chose. What you do next is um, 
you copy everything in the build directory so I'll show you it got these files as well as some static folder what's inside the static folder it got some other files okay so what you do is you copy everything under the build directory into your uh, the, into your directory that nginx will look for um, this is the very important bit that comes next you don't copy you don't copy them to um, var www slash softpath slash html you need to um, append another directory that is your softpath so in my case the softpath is ecf I'll just show you the directory that will contain the, the static files and the nginx will look for is um, so you don't copy the static files on the here but another another folder that matches your sub pair okay so I've, I've, I've copied all the static files onto this folder okay so I'm just saying again you don't copy the build files to um, bar www slash sub pass slash html you have to um, append another folder that's the name of your sub pair that's important okay so you go to the directory that you've just um, copied the build build files to so I told you it's not the build files don't go on the this folder but another another folder after that okay that matches your name of your sub pad in my case it's EC app okay so if you look at its permissions you can tell that all the files um, have the permission 644 and the directories have 755 as the permission because I already changed the um, permissions accordingly okay so this is how you change the um, permissions recursively you use the find command type of directory and then for each item execute um, chmod 755 okay so the directories get permission of 755 Similarly, the files, all the files, so those are all the directory, subdirectories included, and the files inside the subdirectories. Okay, it's all recursive. So for the files, execute chmod 644. The files get permission of 644, okay? And then it says you, you touch the new uh, Nginx configuration file. In my case, it's at etc nginx uh, sites available so my one is the e-commerce okay so what you do is um you you touch touch that um um yeah this doesn't have to be name doesn't have to be sub path in my case i, I called it e-commerce okay so that's where all the nginx custom configuration will be residing in but you also have to make a um, um, soft link symlink to point to the sites enabled okay so if i I'll show you if you go to sites enable you can see that uh, this is um, pointing to the one in the sites available okay so it's just saying if you have a files inside sites enabled that configuration will be in effect when nginx server starts okay so you're just creating a sim link and then inside the configuration file um, I'll just show you so this is my configuration so the purpose of this front end that um, so you create a server block this is nginx okay 
you listen to any port you want. I called it 8080. So you listen to port 8080. Root is pointing to where all the um, files are that the Nginx will look for. And index is just uh, which index file should it look for. Server name is the public IP of my VPS. And slash EC app will be like um, like this IP address slash EC app. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, so um, this directory will be or oh, sorry, this path will be appended to this public address. Okay, so um, so in, this means my website will be accessible from. 184.168.120.55 with port 8080 slash ECF. That will be the um, the website address. Okay. And try files just saying try the URI um, as a file. If that doesn't work, try it as a directory. If it doesn't work, um, lend, lend the index HTML. If that doesn't work, throw 404 error. Um, I'm just telling you that because this is a React app, um, every um, request from the user it has to um, be directed to the index page. Okay, so everything is from the index. There's no other files. Okay, so um, after that. Um, you restart the nginx service yeah and then everything should be set up now your site should be available from the my public VA bps address followed by the port slash subpath in my case it will be the this is the vps ip address so i'm ho i'm hosting it from my vps uh, from godaddy I bought one from GoDaddy, so um, this is the address. My port was 8080 because you see here, I've set listen directly with the value 8080, so you have to specify the same port. And what was the um, yeah? In my case, the sub path is um, EC app. So I put that in, and lo, lo and behold, here's my mock e-commerce site. Okay. So um, that's it. Um, thank you very much. Um, if you have a question, I'll be happy to um, answer it. Um, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. So just create a comment if you have any questions. Thank you very much.